So hello there guys, uh, this is Gaming RC. Um, here to show you guys a little bit of a test on the um, wind tunnel. I'm going to be running both the front and the rear uh, fans. And the reason for that is I want to be able to get as much of a difference on the weights as possible. So you can see we're hovering close to about 12.02 on the rear. And... Uh, ah. Sorry about that. And then about uh, 11.07 up in front. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to set it up. Uh, I have these covered. You know, the holes that I made with the ducts, I covered those up because I wanted to be able to see what I would do with the stock body configuration. And we're going to play with the rear wing to see if that makes a difference. Uh, there's obviously going to be some discrepancies, you know, it's not a perfect test because we have them sitting on these scales Which is going to make more air go through the bottom than what usually would be But um, I feel that it's, it's still going to give us a good representation of, you know, the functionality of the body and wing themselves um, the, the whole thing is right now it's on so that's why you keep seeing you know so much movement on the numbers it's uh the fans are on in there and uh there's some motion in there so that's kind of picking that up but let's go with 1202 at the bottom and 1107 is i think where we were let's see Come on, make up your mind i say 1107 for the top uh, once I t start the fans, you're not going to be able to hear me very well, but um, we'll still be able to see the numbers and uh, we'll be able to see what kind of difference it makes. So let's go ahead and turn on the fans. And then, uh, So you can see right now, numbers have changed. Um, that's what the stock body and the wing set at the lowest level. As so you can see, the front of the body is actually creating a little bit of lift. So it went uh, from 11.07, it went down to 11.04. And mind you, this is at around 10 and a half miles an hour uh, wind speed that we have right now. And then the rear went up from 1202 to 1216, so we got about 14 grams of extra downforce in the rear, which obviously that translates to the rear coming down slightly, and then the front kind of gets a little bit more air coming up top. So that will show a little bit of, uh, up in the front. Now we're gonna play with the, um, with the wing. We're gonna set it up to the highest level. That's the highest it'll go. And then we come down here, and we're at 12.24. So that, that went up about 20, 22 grams. So, so you can see the wing does add some extra downforce on the rear. Uh, like I said, 22, 22, 23 grams uh, doesn't seem like much right now. But again, that's only 10 and a half miles an hour of wind speed. And uh, having you know that much downforce at 10 and a half miles an hour, you can imagine what will happen at 100 miles an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the fan and see how all of this falls back in place. Um, that right there, it's close to 11.04, so it's only about three grams that has gone down. Here we go. Ah, not that one. So when the fans go off, you immediately see this one come down to where it was before uh, we started the whole thing and then that one went up. So we already know that as this guy starts seeing um, some wind speed, even at the low level of 10 and a half uh, miles an hour, uh, that wing is actually functional. It's actually giving us a difference in, in rear weight. And the front is slightly being pulled up. Um, that we may be able to fix by actually bringing it down and uh, not having the scales there. I'm going to see if I can make some kind of a ramp or something or sink those in to see if that's actually accurate. 
but um, as of right now, we're getting a tiny bit of lift up in front and some downforce up the back. Uh, once I make the the bigger and uh, better uh, um, wind tunnel with the higher speeds, uh, we'll be able to see really how functional this this body and wing is, and maybe even see a good difference with the ducts that I put in there. Um, I'll go ahead and run a test without those tapes to see what happens and uh, see if they actually do something, even at that low of um, wind speed. But yeah, that wing works pretty good. So um, this is just a continuation of the, the video on the wing speed and the downforce that's being generated. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down again. And uh, you can see the rear is very close to 12, mm, 1201, 1202. Okay, so let's go with the bigger number, 1201 and 1108. So between the previous video, we moved one gram from the rear to the front. So we just kind of go with those numbers so we can see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and run the fans again. Uh, we're just testing to see if 10 and a half miles an hour is enough to actually make something happen with these ducts. Uh, we already had the numbers from the rear, uh, from the other video, and uh, we should be able to tell whether there's anything happening here. So I'm going to turn on the fans again. Uh, it's going to be loud. Sorry about that. Okay. So right now we've added took some weight off the front. It was about three about three grams that came off the front. And then we gained about 15 grams in the rear. Now we're gonna try the wing. See if I can do it this way. Bring it all the way up. And then we're up to 1226. And again here about three, three and a half uh, grams up the front. So 1226 in the rear. So at this speed, I can't really say that there's been a, bit, a difference, a noticeable difference uh, being generated by the, by the ducts. But I don't see a negative to it, so that's a plus. That's what had me worried that I messed it up. <laughs> But we're gonna find out once I make the other um, uh, wind tunnel. We'll be able to generate much higher speeds and maybe, maybe then we'll get something out of these ducts. But as of right now, I can't really say that they're doing anything at all. Uh, they're not affecting it, but it doesn't seem like they're adding any extra downforce on the rear, which is what I was hoping they would do. So. So 10 and a half miles an hour, uh, we get nothing out of the ducks. So let's try to get more speed and see what happens.